your Bert name? Leaning. Name? Name? <laughs> Andy <laughs> Griffith. Oh my goodness. I am making a cake. I'm baking a cake from scratch. We don't have cake mix. So we have used, you know, some cups of sugar, flour, um, oil in this pan over here. You need to oil your pan and you need to oil the sides. Don't forget that. We have cocoa mix, some other, whatever we needed in here. I just use things and that, is that it? Flour, sugar, um, anyway. <clears throat> the secret that I do, should I tell y'all the secret? <laughs> should I tell y'all the secret? The secret is I added a little extra cocoa. That's the dry ingredients. Here are all the ingredients to combined together, wet and dry, but we are about to do the eggs. I'm about to do the eggs. In just a second. Yep. Is it all? Oh. Yeah. So, okay. And I hope I don't get any shells over anything. So I'm just gonna have this little napkin right here. Wait, oh, cause I can put the shells in this bowl. Okay, moving that. Here comes the yucky part. But when you cook it, See, you don't want to get any shells in there. Some people might be like, oh, if I drop a shell. No, 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 you don't drop a shell in your cake. We don't want no crunchy cake. Okay? So you just... Okay, now we're moving on to egg number two. This is probably one of the most important ingredients for your cake. There we go. Just want to start out slow and ease into it, you know? Nothing like raw egg. All right, that's gonna be good. Push all the way back. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We'll be back. I don't know. We're playing. We're gonna cut these things. Pull the bottom out. Okay, this is my cake. And we did not have enough ingredients to make icing. We did not have enough confectioner sugar. So we just went with this. It's okay, it's still dark chocolate, late night. Okay guys, I did not film me eating the cake because it was so good. I just couldn't pick up the camera and eat that cake at the same time. Like I said, it was amazing, actually nice and warm and moist and chocolatey. And my secret to adding a little extra cocoa worked. Okay. And you do not actually, fun fact, you don't actually have to have vanilla extract. I mean, you can use it obviously, but if you don't have you it, have, you, 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 have, you, uh, you don't actually need sugar, it. Though. Well, yeah, you need powdered sugar. I'm saying you don't need vanilla extract, but you do need powdered sugar. If you don't have that, you're in trouble. Anyway, we're on our way. Hmm, wonder Chick -fil -A. where we're going. Chick-fil-A, had spaghetti for lunch, it was good. And my mom and I kind of wanted Chick-fil-A. You know, it's been 48 hours. Let's get on with the peanut okay, oil. So I'm going to talk very briefly, and then you'll see a picture at the end, either before or after this. It's just me with my red glasses and my white cane. And yes, don't worry about my my blue jeans, okay? Pretty sure they're Harper's and I didn't have a belt so I rednecked them with a pony to hold. Okay, <laughs> here's what I'm gonna say. If you did not know, the month of July is Disability Pride Month is what I think they call it. Um, 
I wasn't even aware of this until people kept doing videos, especially Jennifer Arnold on She was on the show The Little Couple, and so I followed her channel and videos kept popping up and she made a couple good points that I'm going to make right now. I will not be using the word special needs anymore. Here's what I'm gonna say about that. I am not going to, like if someone, you know, says special needs around me or to me, I'm not gonna get upset about it or offended because I realized I did that for years and it's nothing that I personally get offended or upset about. However, learning how to identify yourself having a disability versus um, your disability defining you is so important. So for example, for me, I am legally blind. So instead of saying the blind girl, <laughs> unless you're my brother and you're joking around with me, but on all seriousness, instead of saying the blind girl, um, you should say, like, if you don't know my name, that girl who is visually impaired or who is legally blind or, hey, this is Ashley. She is visually impaired. Um, so you want to put your name before the actual disability because that says who you are. Your disability does not say who you are. It's just a part of you. And so like someone with dwarfism, um, hi, my name is Ashley, I have dwarfism. I wouldn't want someone to be like, you know, the girl, the, the dwarfism, whatever. Like, I think, I think you catch my drift on that. But so basically it's, it's just saying who you are. And then yes, it is important to show that you have disabilities and talk about it. That is so important, but it's just how you introduce it. So I think that's that's super important as well. Um, so, um, for example, like I use a wheelchair for long distances, so I have um, cerebral palsy and little person syndrome. Now, obviously I'm gonna be like, hi, my name is Ashley, I have little person syndrome or I have cerebral palsy. I don't want people to say, you know, like the girl in the wheelchair. We have special equipment that we use, but that's, that's okay. Like the, the world, everyone is made differently. God makes everyone differently. So if you use a wheelchair, cool. Um, if you don't, cool. Use a white cane, cool. Um, so that's basically what I wanted to say about it. And thank you for watching this video and hope you join next time.